the overeasy egg fly is aptly named and looks good enough to eat. Let's tie it. Get yourself a good wet fly, curved, or check style hook for this pattern. I like to tie them in sizes 14 to 10, depending upon the brand of hook I'm using. Get a base of fluorescent orange thread started on the hook and create a dubbing loop on the back end, just above where the barb should be. Bring your thread back to the front, get that loop nice and sticky with some dubbing wax. Then you can reach for the key ingredient in the over easy egg, firelight dubbing. Fiery orange is for the egg yolk. Pull off or cut enough dubbing to give you a good sized ball in the center of whatever hook you choose. I prefer plunger style hackle pliers to hold and wrap my dubbing loops, so I'll attach that after slipping the dubbing between the waxed up threads of the dubbing loop and spreading it out sufficiently. Leaving just a bit more dubbing towards the center of the loop to allow a nice ball of dubbing to be created. Twist the loop closed with your fingers and begin wrapping forward, pulling the fibers towards the back with each successive wrap. The dubbing is going to be a bit messy for a while but we'll have a chance to clean everything up at the end. Just continue wrapping the dubbing loop forward until you get about 1 8 inch behind the hook eye. And make sure there's a nice little ball of dubbing right in the middle of the hook. That's pretty key. Capture the loop with a few wraps over the top and in front before trimming off the firelight dubbing loop. Add a few securing wraps to the firelight and use your fingers to plump up the center of that egg pattern. It's more firelight again for the egg veil, but we only want a screen of white to coat the outside of the orange egg. Pull a small clump of white firelight from the hank, and instead of dubbing it in the traditional manner, we're going to fold it onto the hook like that of a nuke egg pattern. Get a good sticky wax on your thread and lay the firelight over the top before pulling down each end of the firelight to wrap it around the thread. You want to also slide the material up towards the hook before you start wrapping. Then, while pulling the firelight towards the rear, make turns with your thread just behind the eye of the hook. This process also gets a bit messy, but the goal is just to encompass the egg with white firelight. Once you've sufficiently covered the egg, trim off any excess. Leave the material just a bit longer than the fly at first, just to give you more leeway when trimming at the end. Feather the material from the rear, and then give your egg the best haircut you know how. Fluff up the fibers with your fingers and trim the firelight so that it's fit snugly around the orange core. You can also whip finish and trim your thread at this point. There are flies that fish like, and there are flies that anglers like. This fly will already likely catch a fish's eye, so this step is mostly for your peace of mind or Instagram portfolio. Almost as quickly as we started, the over easy egg is complete. Getting it wet will show you why this fly is so effective. It definitely looks good enough to eat. Head down to your favorite fly shop and ask for larva lace by name. The firelight is a great material for bait fish patterns, saltwater flies, and nymphs. Give Lori a call at the shop or find us on social media to order the best fly tying materials on the market. Then head over to our Facebook page and get signed up for our new on the fly newsletter. We'll feature stories, tips, tricks, and products from Larva Lace that will make you a better angler. Share your fly tying successes and questions on the Fly Tying University Facebook page and share your fishing stories at fishstories.org. Thanks for tying with Larva Lace. Have a great day.